I was so tired and sick that uh, when I discovered the microphone wasn't working in the shot, I decided to just do this voiceover instead. This is the DMG. I'm recovering from uh, man flu, and um, yeah, you can hear that in my voice. So um, yeah, yeah. This is about tavern floor. Alrighty, a tavern floor. So lots of people have asked me about doing this, and so I thought you get a three by three tile, or you can use any size tile, but what are we gonna do with this? Are we gonna build a whole new tile? You know, that's a lot of work. So I thought, no, 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 you've seen this before. We're gonna get a cardboard box that's really thin. It's corrugated, but super thin. So you can see sort of how thin it is. It's almost like cardstock, but it is a corrugated box. You can see the corrugation. So we're just going to get a piece that's about the same size as the actual uh, dungeon tile. And we're going to cut off all the extra floppy bits, the flappy bits, <coughs> and measure the inside of the walls of the tiles, which on this one is 18 centimeters. And we're going to mark out those on the various sides of this cardboard. And um, we're going to cut that out using our craft knife. Now... We've shown you tile inserts before, but what's going to be more interesting on here is how do we make it look like a wooden floor. So hold on to your hats, we're going to be going in. So check the tile sizes, measure it, trim it down, check it, dry fit it to the tile, see if it's six, this one's a little bit big here, it's not pushing down to the bottom. So we're just going to trim off like about one millimeter on two of the sides, or sides that are perpendicular to one another. Uh, drop it in there now it's fitting fine so now we can get on to the interesting part you can see here's everything just fitting in nicely grab yourself an old toothbrush now what on earth are we doing some brown paint dip the toothbrush into the brown paint and then just run it across the cardboard in the same direction as the corrugation and just continue with boots of speed i'm um, just using dark brown paint, ochre paint, and I'm mixing a little bit of yellow, doing the same thing and just continue on, always in the same direction. Do not change directions, always left and right. <coughs> Do not switch to up and down. I add a little bit of white and continue over that and switch back to brown, etc, etc. <coughs> and then I'm going to get some black, heavily water it down. So it's probably about two parts watered to one part black. And then uh, just freehanding drawing lines that are yeah, probably about half a centimeter to a centimeter apart. You can determine the width, it's up to you, um, and just continue that across the board. It doesn't matter if it's not 100% straight, that's not the point. The point is you want it a little rustic look, you don't want it to look modern. So once you've done that, you can then begin to just do some perpendicular lines to show where the sort of joints in the floor are and uh, use two maximum three lines per per level and you just stagger them all over the show so they're not in a regular pattern and you can also add in the little knots of wood if you want to you can embellish it as you go and as you can see this is very very simple so the toothbrush is the thing that's going to give you that sort of the grain of the wood look and then obviously this watered down paint once it's dry it's not so dark um, and that sort of gives you the edges the, of the of the um, the wooden um, floor slatting, I suppose it's called. It's not tiles. If you've got any sort of excess there, you can just smooth it over with your finger. It'll kind of look like some aged and rotten pieces, so that's okay. Um, and there you have it. That's uh, nice and easy. Throw on some furniture, stick it in the tile, and there you have it nice and simple you don't need to go and reconstruct everything you've got the walls you've got the tile you've got all the furniture and all that kind of stuff so you're pretty much ready to go all right so that's a tavern floor i'm going to go on and on about some sort of like button uh subscribe click the bell for notifications and uh yeah uh join the tabletop crafters guild on facebook with wylock black magic's craft 
And of course, the Godfather. What am I saying? The Godfather. Craft Father. DM Scotty. Jeez, I'm tired. Anyway, uh, check out my website, the dmg.info forward slash store. We can help financially support this channel and buy me more medication uh, because clearly I need it. Anyway, uh, what else is there? Uh, stuff. Insert joke. Uh, you'll see me next week, hopefully with a healthier disposition. So don't forget the website and, you know, check out the all the stuff on the channel page where you can see interesting videos like this new one that's posted here. And of course, that one that YouTube recommends. And then you can subscribe to the channel on the top left and to one of my other channels at the bottom right. Stay within the DMG universe. Thrilling stuff. Now I'm going to go and pass out because this is far too hard.